Hey everyone, I am back. Are you ready for another episode of the Colonel's Bequest? Terrific! Let's go. Hopefully I will not do something stupid and die this time. Look, Gator. Oh yeah. Talk to Gator. Gators don't talk. Kiss Gator. Be reasonable! Okay. Stop following me. Okay. Um, you are at the southeast, southeast edge of... By the way, this is called a bio. Not a bayou, but a bio. <laughs> yeah. The old road and the fence has been taken over by the flooding of the swamp water. Up here, there's a little building. So let's go. This quaint gazebo looks like it was once a nice spot for quiet reflecting. Looking north, you see some tall hedges. This is an odd-looking place. It seems to be a private little garden completely surrounded by a large hedge. You wonder why? Let's go in! This hedge garden is very strange. In the center you see a fountain, while a nearby statue overlooks it. Perhaps at one time, this was someone's place of quiet contemplation. Like the gazebo, I guess. So, look fountain. The fountain sits forlornly in the center of the garden. Look statue. A statue of a dancing nymph overlooks the fountain. And, let's see. I don't really know how good the quality of this will be on YouTube, because YouTube sucks, but there's a little button thing here, but <laughs> I don't know how to look at it, I just know how to look at statue, so I'll, I'll come back to that later. Oh yeah, speaking of quality, um, if anyone knows how to make YouTube video image quality better, please tell me how, because I'm getting really frustrated with the blurriness. Anyways, you are walking along the south edge of the bio island. The old road runs alongside the old plantation's front wrought iron fence. From here you can see the east edge of the main circular driveway. Well, that's nice. You are standing at the south edge of the bio. Blah, 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 that's not important. We've been up here before. Yeah, that's the statue of the colonel. Can we get out of here? No. Okay. A weather-beaten dock extends from the island's edge out into the alligator-infested bio. Toward the center of the island, you can see the old plantation house. Okay, so... Oh, look! Frogs and turtles. Look, frog. Right there. Many frogs and turtles live in the bio. Kiss frog. What do you think this is? King's Quest? Hehe. <laughs> oh, another alligator. It's still following me. That's kind of creepy. Uh, you'd think you'd be able to do something here with, like, the boxes and crates, but you can't, really. Open crate. There's nothing you would want in these old crates. So we'll just go back because there's nothing to do here. I don't even know why they have it here. No, no, don't go back there. Okay. This is an unimportant description. Uh, yeah, we've been here. Go to the left. You are walking along the south, blah, 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 blah. In the distance, you see a carriage house. I kind of don't know why they have these uh, scenes, like, at the bottom here next to the gate, because there's nothing you can do there. It's completely unimportant. Whoa! Okay. I think Ethel was going to come there, but I missed her. You have come upon a run-down carriage house. Old crates have been piled before one of the doors. For obvious reasons, it has not been used as a carriage house for some time. So let's go in. You peer through the gloom of the old carriage house. 
Parts of the decrepit carriage lie in the right corner, and a small rowboat named Minnow rests in the left corner. I believe Minnow is a reference to... How can I not remember? It, that TV show that uh, with the, the skipper and... Oh, this is sad. What's it called? Oh, never mind. I'll think of it later and feel really stupid. Okay, so... You can't get the anchor or the rope, even though they made it really brightly colored. There's nothing in the boat, I don't think. Look in boat. You look in the small rowboat, but do not see anything of interest. However, on the table... There is an oil can on the table. Take oil can. Okay. Sweet. Now, look in carriage. You look inside the decrepit carriage and find a crowbar. Thinking it might come in handy, you take it with you. So we take a crowbar and stuff it down our dress somehow. Maybe we're using it as a back brace. Look, crowbar. That's nice. I just wanted to see it, but that's the most boring looking crowbar I've ever seen. That's okay. Over here, on the west corner of the island, you see an old dilapidated stable surrounded by an empty corral. Um, I'll go in a second. I just want to see if there's anything. Uh, no. Nothing. Okay. Let's go in. Oh snap! It's Wilbur! Oh no! What's happened to Wilbur? Someone must have hit him over the head and killed him. Nervously, you look behind you, but there's no one there. Looks very interesting. Look, Wilbur. It appears as if Wilbur was fatally hit on the head with a blunt instrument. Search body. Okay. How about here? With trembling hands, you search Wilbur's body and confirm your suspicions that he died by a tremendous blow to the head. What's this? Why, it's Wilbur's monocle. Thinking it might come in handy, you take it with you. Is it just me or is that unethical? Oh well. Talk to Wilbur. Okay. Kiss Wilbur. Yuck.